QuickBooks has a ton of different reports related to your customers and your sales. And I want to take you through and show you some of these different ones that you will want to run on a regular basis to see how your company is doing in these different areas. Let me go ahead and flip over to QuickBooks and I will show you a couple of these different reports. I'm going to head over to the navigation pane and I'm going to click on reports. There are several different categories of reports here. But I want to focus right now on the one that says who owes you and then below it are your sales and customers. Underneath who owes you, probably one of the most common reports is the open invoices right here, which you've seen before. And this is just a list of all of your customers who still owe you money, even if they owe you a penny. You'll notice that it shows you all the information you need about the transaction, like the date, you can see the amount. And if you're on that line and you just point to any of these pieces of information, you'll see that you can click and actually go to that transaction. If you actually change that transaction and then get out of it, when you come back here, as long as you've saved the transaction, the report will be updated. Another one, I'm going to go back to reports, that you'll want to look at is going to be under who owes you, customer balance detail. This report will show you all the transactions that occurred for each customer and each job or subcustomer. When you first come in, it might look like you're just looking at the invoices, anything open. What you need to do is go up to the top right and choose Customize. Come down to where you see Filter. And you'll notice that where it says AR Paid, it says Unpaid right now. Go ahead and choose All from the list and then run the report at the bottom. And now you'll see each transaction that happened for each customer, subcustomer, and or job here. I'm going to go ahead and go back to reports. We'll look at a few more here. Back down to who owes you. There are some other ones that you might want to look at. For example, you might want to run a collections report. This one is going to show you all of the information about the customer. This time you'll notice there's a phone number here as well. So if you needed to make some phone calls and call some of these people, you've got that information right here on this report. I'm going back to reports. Some other ones just to notice, you do have the ability to run an accounts receivable aging detail and an aging summary. Anytime you see a summary and a detail, the summary will show you the line item and one total, whereas the aging detail will show every single option that made up that category or that line item that you would normally see. You can see an invoice list here if you like. You can see a terms list. There's a statement list. Just all kinds of things you can look at underneath who owes you. Now, down under sales and customers, here's where you can run things like a customer contact list. This is just going to give you each customer, their phone number, their email, that sort of thing. You can also go in and look at estimates by customer. You might want to see if you have any income by customer. You might want to see all your payment methods, product lists and services, your sales. You can look at those by customer. You can look at them by product. And you can also look at them by time or activities. So just know that there's a lot of different reports under those two options right there. Now, most of your reports can be customized. If you happen to run, for example, a sales by customer detail, you'll notice that you can come up here and change the report period. I can look at all dates and then I can hit run the report and I'll see all of the information for each customer. I can group these by customer. I can group them by product. I've got all different kind of ways I can group this report. And also something else to notice is that all of your reports are automatically run on a accrual basis, not a cash basis. And you can change it per report if you need to. Accrual basically means that as soon as you invoice a customer, it's going to show as income to your business in QuickBooks, whether they've paid it or not. If you had any expenses, let's say you entered a bill, it would show it as an expense whether you'd paid that bill or not. We're going to see how this really works when we look at a profit and loss a little bit later. But let's go ahead and just kind of wrap this up. I just wanted you to see the reports that were available for customers and for your sales, and most of them will be under these two headings. Let's go ahead now and move over to Module 6 and talk a little bit about products and services. 
If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get a free QuickBooks Online Essential Keyboard Shortcuts infographic, click over there. And click over there to watch more QuickBooks videos from Simon Says It.